Hi, we're going to learn a little bit about Chrome Music Lab today. You should see it on the screen here. The web address is up here or just Google Chrome Music Lab. It'll be the first thing that comes up. I'm going to try to go quickly because the program I'm using only gives me 10 minutes for free to do screen recording and it took, I've already done this like twice and ran out of time. So we got Song Maker here. This is one of the ones I'd like you guys to use. You just fill in these little squares. And it'll play a song with whatever you fill in. So those are my initials. And there's some drum stuff down there. You can change the top sound from one of these things and then the bottom sound here. Uh, restart clears it. Below where my picture is at, there's a save and undo and then a... Um, voice record so you can actually um, record your voice and it'll figure out what note you're singing and put it on here. But yeah, you can just make pictures and see what they would sound like. Or just some random dots. Or, you know, actually put some thought into it and see if you can get a really good song. If you do, click save, send it to me at Mrs. Recchia music at gmail.com that's r-e-c-c-h-i-a then we got this little rhythm monkey guy here he's a little bit of fun the orange drum is the bottom set of dots the yellow drum is this middle set of dots and the triangle is the top set of dots so we can go oh we got some other guys here Press this arrow and you just play with the bag. Ooh, I like that one. So that one's fun to mess with. Um, spectrograms, not much. Different sounds look like through a spectrogram. Most of the music notes, musical instruments tend to look more regular. Chords isn't much to write home about. It just plays the chords starting on whichever note you touch and you got a major and minor. Alright. Sound waves you can play with, but it's just showing you how fast the sound waves are going. Higher up you go, faster sound waves are lower. You go the slower they are. Arpeggios is a little bit of fun. Hit play. Then you hit note and it will just play an arpeggio of that chord. I'm just hitting random notes so it might sound a little weird. But an arpeggio is just a broken chord. It plays the favorite of the bunch is this one called Kandinsky. So if I were to draw something, that's my name. It has different colors, have different sounds attached. Um, so just hit the back arrow to get rid of it. One really fun part about this is if you draw a circle, it always makes it a face. I don't know why. But then the face sings. That's kind of fun. So if I can make another one over here. And now you'll see why Miss Rekia is not the art teacher. You'll notice 
guess if you draw too much, it'll start erasing the first thing you drew and then backwards from there. to you. Boy Spinner is really fun. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I, I miss really you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. And then I'll play even backwards. Um, harmonics I wouldn't bother with. That's not much. Um, I wouldn't bother with strings either, but piano roll can be a little bit of fun. song because it's really funny. I miss you guys! And you can play all the songs that you can ever play for See what else left is oscillators. We gotta make this quick so I don't run out of time. But shapes of sound waves. And it just shows you their shapes and what they sound like. This is a square wave. The higher I make them, the faster the squares are going. string so that's it you can go ahead and play around i'd like you to spend maybe 15 minutes a week playing with one of these and try to create me something uh pretty and email it to me i would really like to hear what you could come up with see you next time <laughs>